Ladies and gentlemen, we here at Assault Championship Wrestling and Assault TV mourn the passing of Chief Wahoo McDaniel, a true legend in this industry. PJ? Absolutely, Mike. We are going to mourn this loss for many decades to come. He was a true legend. But, Mike, also this week, you know, wrestling is my passion, but it's not all I do. I am also a DJ, and I also have to acknowledge the loss of a true legend of rock. Maybe not so much now, but in the years to come, his work will definitely influence so many others. I must recognize the passing of Lane Staley of Alice in Chains. He was found dead in his apartment last Friday night. And as you've seen, Mike threw together a little package on Chief Wahoo McDaniels. I've also done the same thing for Lane Staley. If we could please just roll that footage right now and we'll be back shortly after. Fans, welcome back. You have just witnessed a very successful title defense from our ACW Hardcore Champion, Full Dread. But Mike, I gotta know, and not only do I gotta know, the fans gotta know, they want to know, who is Full Dread's opponent, May 3rd, Blood for Blood? You just had to take it there, didn't you? Mike, we have to know. Who is Full Dread's opponent? Man, look, everybody knows that Full Dread is my Kumba. My pie's on. Of course, Mike, he's all of our friend, inside and out of the ring, but who is he going to face? The man Paul Dredd will face that blood for blood. He's as wide as he is tall. This guy will hit something, and as soon as he touches it, it's going to bleed, and it's going to break, brother. Okay, Mike, we know he's huge. We've we gathered that, you know. We know every time he hits something, it breaks and bleeds. But what we don't know, the most important thing, what is his name? You know what? Full Dread, May 3rd, win or lose, brother, you are going to have your ass handed to you by none other than the Iron Man, Tommy Cairo. What? You heard me. That is incredible. I'm speechless. Dread, Mike, we love you, man, but uh, this time, watch your back. Unbelievable, Mike. 
we got to talk about other uh, other matches in this show. I'm still flabbergasted. However, a match you don't want to miss, another match that you definitely don't want to miss. You've been asking for it for months. Emails, message board, unbelievable. You wanted it, you got it. Little Guido Meritato versus one half of the Baldies, Tony DeVito. That's right, brother. This has been brewing for months and months, ever since the four-way number one contenders match. And it will all come to a head at one, four, four. What else? Well, Mike, since you brought up the four-way number one contenders match, you know, way back when, I gotta talk about it. The ACW Heavyweight Champion. He was participating in that. And you know what? Now, Slick Wagner Brown, along with the prize, April, oh my God. God, man, can you see her eyes? She wants me. You are one sick man hunter. We'll take on, and I still can't believe we got him to come to one of our shows. You need help. Can I, can I do this? Do it. Absolutely. Like I said, I can't believe we signed him. I can't believe he could come to one of our shows. Alex Roma. That's right, brother. International superstar, fresh from his tour of Japan. Alex Roma will take on Slick Wagner Brown and Slick. You will be taken to task at blood for blood. But you know what? Let me ask you this. What exactly are we going to do at blood for blood? Well, Mike, since you told me a couple weeks ago, it, it, it took a little while to sink in. I still can't believe we're doing this. Very, very distasted about doing this. We're going to be interviewing none other than the hippie freak, Nick Richards, and Purdy... Curdy Adonis. Yeah. Purdy Curdy and the Hippie Geek. You know what? It seems like Kurt's got this big surprise for us. Oh, he's going to shock the world. He's going to shock the world with this big surprise. Oh, yeah. Yippee, Curdy. You got a big surprise. Well, guess what, bitch? I think you got one, too. All right. With that being said, Mike, you know, we only have a 30-minute show here, so please fill us in. What's going on tonight? Tonight, brother, real simple. Last show, we interviewed Kappa Tapa Kega, and that turned into a tag team title defense. You know what? All I have to say now, watch your monitor. Absolutely. Uh, and I would like to introduce to you now the two co-hosts of our weekly television program, Mikey Miles and PJ!
champions. And a lot of people are saying, maybe you're not enough, you don't have enough experience. What do you guys have to say about that? Maybe you're not. We used to come to a college class and came to ACW and we took the tag straps like that. What? But the only thing is, we're coming to Kevin Pagan. We're the two coolest wrestlers on the indie circuit today. Look at us. But, but, ladies and gentlemen, just to ensure that we keep the belts, we have brought our new manager to ACW. What? Ladies and gentlemen of Meriden, Talia. Whoa, 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 whoa. Our new manager is a rock. Smarter than Talia. Fucking idiot. Tell you what, I'm talking, man. Interesting turn of events here as the Rocket Fred Curry Jr. comes out and interrupts Mayan and Mikey's uh, interview of Kappa Kappa Tank. Who the hell is Fred Curry Jr. thinks he is? 10 cents shoot my ass. That's a dude cost more money than he's made in a month. Mike, I know your suit only costs two bucks, don't lie. Shut your mouth, you tight shirt, freak. Two sizes are too big, but let's listen on what's going on in the room. Wait a minute. I know that. What music is that? Why, like that? Your buddy. Well, you gotta be kidding, or should I say, one of your uh, former buddies? There's no way. No, no, no. Well, Mike, looks like we got a match on our hands here. Looks like uh, you know the Cabin Boys are gonna have to defend their titles against. A team I never thought I'd see. How about you? Unbelievable. Frank Curry Jr. A sudden impact. Dylan Cage. Unbelievable. Look at that. Double drop kick in stereo, brother. That's right. The Cabin Boys outside the ring. And back to the Ooh, little surprise there. What the hell is going on? What's there? It's going to hit the fan, baby. Right here. It's going to hit the fan. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 Mike. Oh, I'm going to get sick. This is ridiculous. Hey, they both want some straps in Those boys got them. This makes no damn sense. This match was never officially signed. This match should never take place. Oh my, guess what? Looks like it's going to. You gotta be kidding me. Look at Frank Curry Jr. Taking it right to the Hoochie player, brother. That's right, Dylan Cage working over the Virgin Slayer. Comes him right into the ring. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Sudden impact in the team with a rocket Fred Curry Jr. Unreal. Only in assault championship wrestling. Oh my, you know, it's always expected the unexpected. However, you know, the Hoochie player inside the ring working over one 
Rocket, Fred Curry Jr. Check out that manager sitting on it ringside. It's in the corner, baby. Hell yeah, you saw it all her plastic glory in the corner, baby. Like for weeks and weeks and weeks, all you can talk about is the chicks, the chicks, the chicks. And that is definitely not a chick, a chick, a chick. But that damn sure was a suplex, a suplex, a suplex. Sending the rocket on his backside where he can fall. Looking at the lights, Jack. However, firing back, Greg Curry. Yeah, building up a little bit of steam here. Lifts him up. Beautiful drop kick finds its mark on the Hoochie Play. I gotta give Fred Curry his due. That is one hell of a drop kick. But all I got to say to him, look at that blatant low blow, Mike. Did you, did you see that? I didn't see nothing. Of course not. Your monitor's probably out again. Why don't you try watching it every once in a while? Look at that. Fred Curry Jr. Watch that kick as it echoed off his chin and sent him on his back one more time. What is your deal this week, Mike? Knocked his ass all the way back to 1985 with his ass off. Oh, man. You are just cruel this week, dude. Unbelievable. Of course I'm cruel. Look at this. Probably the best guy in the business. Sudden impact in a cage. Teaming with a rocket. You've turned a guy like you in cage to the side of milk and turkeys and apple pie. Oh, did you see that reversal by the rocket Fred Curry? Big splash. Hey, he knocked down Talia. What the hell's wrong with him? That's not Talia. That is not Talia. Fred Curry up and over. Got the Virgin Slayer. Rolls him up. One, two. Oh, he gets a two count, though. Look at that springboard off the second rope. Cover One, two. Check out Sudden Impact doing case. Chomping at the bit. Trying to get in this very ring, brother. Look at that vicious clothesline, Mike. Vicious. In comes the Hoochie player. You should not discount the skills of Kappa Tapa Kega. These guys are unbelievable, brother. They are a team. They are a well-oiled unit. These are two guys you will throw together and say, I'm going to tell you that. I'm a forefather's my ass. Hey, Where's the five count, man? Did you see all that double team in my? I didn't see nothing. Of course not. Why don't you try, as you would say, watch your monitor, Mike. Shut your mouth. I can't. I have a match to come and take. Stop your wiring. Why don't you help me out? All right. There you go. Big chop by the rocket friend Curry Jr. And another one. He thinks he's Rick Flair now. Woo! Anyway, hit the big whip into the corner. Look at Curry with a big miss. Hung out to dry by the Gucci player, Jack. You feel better now? You had a little bit of input into this match? Unbelievable. Greg Curry's got to get it together here. Speaking again, it's good. Oh. oh my God, what was that? Blatant low blow. A big kick to the cratchit, and then the big side kick to the side of the head of the rocket. Swallows him on the mat one more time. That's a good measure. That's right. Look at those oh, double teaming. Look at this, Mike. This is ridiculous. Where's the referee? Tandem elbows by a tag team tandem, unlike any other in Assault Championship Wrestling, baby. You know, I do like these guys, but I, I don't like their in ring tactics, Mike. Not one bit at all. Here's that foot again. Ooh! Talk about kicks to the cratchit, Mike. Got his own man. The Hooch. Ooh! Unbelievable. That is just the size of the, of the cabin boys. I, just, I didn't know they had that in them, man. Shut your mouth. All I know right now is the Rocket really needs to make a tag. Look at Dylan K just in there. Trying, just trying to get the crowd behind him. Just, there he is. He's in. Finally, the glory hound, Fred Curry Jr., makes the tag and allows sudden impact Dylan K to get in the ring. And he is a house of fire, baby, as he always is. Absolutely, Mike. Got the Virgin Slayer, whips him off, gets down, rolls him, rolls up. Beautiful Japanese takedown. Springboard off the second rope with a flying cross body. Two shots, unbelievable. Look at this, look at this fast pace action, Mike. I almost can't call it all. Call this, brother. Hatton and move, Hatton and sudden impact. I give you the fourth screw. Absolutely, there's the cover. One, two, oh. Great presence of mind from Dylan Cage to get out of the way. 
Ooh, tandem shots there. Why is the rocket front Curry still in this ring? Two Kappas, a cage, and a Curry. Cage. Hmm. Speaking of cages, May 3rd, Blood for Blood, another great tag team match as the Mutilators take on Paul Mahoney, Ron Zombie inside the steel cage. Absolutely, folks. You don't want to miss that one. But this action inside the ring, finally a little bit of redemption, a little bit of double teaming of their own. The Cajun Curry take it to the Virgin Slayer. Jeff the ref Corona has lost control of this match. This match should be thrown out. No way, man. She's just giving everybody their fair shot. Uh oh, look at that. The Virgin Slayer whips Fred Curry blatantly into the referee. Even his own man and Dylan Cage. The pocket and Dylan Cage outside by yesterday's garbage, baby. What are you talking about yesterday's garbage? Five seconds ago, you're just singing his praises. Wait a minute. Look at It's the one man foundation of domination, Apollo. What the hell is he doing? He just threw away a crutch. He just broke a crutch over to, over to Hoochie Player's back. What the hell is that? What, what, is she, what is she doing in the ring? Well, you know, Let's tell you, what is she doing in the ring? She's got a little bit of revenge on her mind, I guess. Thank you, God. What? Never mind. Just call the match, Mike. Big kaboom by sudden impact. Well, Curry hooks him up. Ooh, vicious. Reverse DDT. One, two, no. three. No. Your winners, the Rocket. Fred Curry Jr. and your buddy, Sudden Impact, Dylan Cage, your brand new ACW Tag Team Champions. And I guess they've got a new manager, the manager of champions, the lovely Hell yeah. You know what? I've had enough of this. I'm out of here, Jack. Have a good night, Mike. As for the rest of you fans, on behalf of Mikey Milano and myself, we will see you back here for another exciting action-packed episode of Assault TV. However, we got a little package coming up for you right after this. Stay tuned. Don't go away. It's simple. You step up, the Rock and I are just going to outclash you for one reason only. I'm not conceited. You don't have to be because I'm Preparing for Battle Fest. If any of those motherfuckers get in my way, I'm gonna run them down. I'm gonna make them bleed. Blood for blood. Ugh. Yeah, the paramedics will be here in a second, please. You saved, you saved us all. Relax. This, this Superman died?
fans, PJ back here with some late breaking news. Just handed to me moments ago in this very box is a tape handed to me by our executive producer himself, Jason Effin Knight. He says it's very pertinent and it must get on TV tonight. I haven't watched it, I don't know what's on it. So therefore, as my partner would say, watch your monitors. There was an old lady that lived in a shoe. Nemesis and pain lived there too. Zombie and balls came to seek and destroy. Through collars and chains they chose to deploy. Revenge is what they sought, that of which they could not have. What they received instead was a good old fashioned blood bath. Pain! Nemesis, the students, Ron Zombie, Balls Mahoney, the teachers, well gentlemen, you taught them just a little too well. They learned just a little too much. And now, on May 3rd, at Blood for Blood, inside the steel cage. It's time to go back to school. Classes will be in session. And the question on everyone's mind is just 